Yeah, what's going on, y'all? Monte Cristos from the D, you know what I'm saying? Represent, representing the red Detroit. team. You, you know what's what I'm up? saying? So, West. <laughs> you know, so, you know, he's straight hood, you know what I'm saying? So, and we try to keep him there, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, try to. You're from the Mitten, man. You're from the Mitten, man. The Detroit is is full of legendary hip hop, you know what I'm saying, uh, music. Like Esham, of course. Did you grow up listening to cats like Esham? Man, it's funny you say Esham. You know that's my favorite artist out of Detroit. And I had. Oh, that motherfucker, ain't he? Yeah, he, it, they surprised me for one of my birthday parties. I did a lot of shows with Esham. They surprised me for my, everybody know that that's my guy right there. But they surprised me one day, well, uh, some years ago, my birthday party. They pulled in um, Esham, they pulled him in, and it, 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 that was an actual surprise, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, Esham, yeah, he, he showed everybody how to grind that independent game, man. People don't give him his credit, but Esham, he, you know, he's he a pioneer. He, he showed people how to do that independent game and, and merchandising and, and stuff like that and how to, how to you know, get out there and grind grind that hard stuff. But, yeah, that's that's my dog, Esham. I don't work with a lot of them. I don't work with a lot of them out here in the underground. Like, um, but it, it's just an honor for, you know, to be a part of China Man Records, Fresh Kid Ice. If you know he he my personal friend outside of the hip hop and you know we worked together for years and you know he asked me when he asked me that you know I couldn't say no and I done turned down some some labels you know what I'm saying I ain't gonna put them on blast but but I had homeboys that's on these labels and, and they was like man it's straight fuckery man don't, don't even fuck with it and shit like that man and, and you know China Man Records that's one this is one hundred man it's Artists, about artists, and it's for artists. You know what I'm saying? There ain't none of that fuckery. You know, you got culture vultures out here stealing, stealing our culture and all that stuff like that, man. You know, China Man Records. He, he China Man. He he about the artist, man. He about the artist, and he and he helps yeah, and, us out over here. Well, it, it's uh, good to have somebody on your team like like uh, um, uh, Chris said, who has been through different. You know what I'm saying? Versities in the rap game. Who's seen the the evil side of the rap game? Plus, this is also a guy who helped fight for our right to say what we want to say. Right now, it's not looking looking so good. Um, but you know, through music, maybe something positive can come back. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw in the '90s and the '80s, music was actually bringing people together. You know what I mean? Exactly. People of all walks of life. And I know you've seen this firsthand, Chris, because you tour, toured the globe. You know what I'm saying? You saw right. hip hop transcending culture in different countries. Um, maybe that could, you know, be a positive tip as far as getting things back in order. You know, um, when you make your music, you know what I'm saying? For the for the fans that haven't heard it, how would you describe it? You know, uh, what do you what do you aim for when you make your music, man? Basically, uh, I try to make music, you know, in. Uh, happy way, you know what I'm saying? Not happy as, you know, like, but basically for everybody to have a good time and take away from their stress, you know? That's why the music that I've made in the past with the group, you know, with Two Live Crew and so forth, um, lasted so long because, you know, our goal was to basically take away your stress at least for a night, you know, or if you want to get away from this stress and strife of the world, you just pop in a two live crew tape and, and, and it makes you laugh or something, you know? So, you know, that's what people like about the music, you know, it, it can take them to a different place and it gives them memories in time, you know? So, well, Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's I mean, that's what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was at that two live crew concert in 90, uh, 91 or, or such and such, you know what I'm saying? I, I saw China Man Records, they came out to Detroit, and, and they they, uh, they rocked the crowd. And you remember that shit for the rest of your life, you know? Right. Um, it's all about hip-hop. 
what I'm saying? But uh, we're, we're going to bring on some more Chinaman artists here soon, but I want to uh, actually want to get to your uh, track, Bonnie. Uh, tell everybody about this track. Oh, this this track done with um, Tico, to, uh, Tico Red Team, your Red Team artist, Tony Tico, and and you know it's kind of controversial because he's a white artist, and and the song is y'all niggas suck, so he really can't say the word nigga. <laughs> but, yeah, but, well, that, well but, you know, that's why I'm letting you introduce it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was going to say, wherever, wherever my, my, my co-host, Mac J, Mac J introduced this fucking song for us here. But no, no, tell us about this song. It, it, it's, uh, when, when you made it, what were you aiming for? We was, we was really aiming for the, you know, I told I told Tico, I say, listen, man, let's, let's go in and do MC. He say, well, you, gonna, you know, you're going to rap the thug rap. I say, no, I'm going to do MC. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rap. MC, I'm not going to do the, the trap music type of uh, stuff. I'm going to rap MC. We're going to go in at, at the at the artist that's out here putting out the garbage and let them know y'all suck. But the people people want to hear good music. They want to hear quality music. They want to hear what you're saying. They don't want all this chanting and shit. They want to hear what you actually, your words, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they want to hear a message or something. So you know it's really yeah. after these artists, man. Because if my, I used to have a radio show, Mad at Your Mama Monday, and I used to go <laughs> off on all the garbage rappers. This that that's really that was my mo of just going off on all the garbage rappers to hip hop because it's like these rappers are destroying hip hop with all this garbage they putting out, and and it's about this materialism, and you know they trying yeah. to whatever sells. Whatever you know, with, with, if you could sell some that Bentley or some shit. shit like that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> some fucking bullshit. Skinny jeans, so, yeah. Yeah, skinny jeans, oh. some clothing, and you know, fake chains and all this other garbage shit they be doing. But that's why we just we put out like y'all niggas suck four to one eyes, meaning y'all I got us outnumbered. There's a whole bunch of y'all fuck boys running around. Y'all got us outnumbered. But we gonna win this shit at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? The real, the real music is gonna win this shit. So that's what basically we was going in making this track at a, you know, a direct, direct, you know, shot at them, man. You know, tighten the game up. It's like, like I was um, talking to the brother from Lynch Mob, Lynch Mob Trey. They coming out. They did a video the other day where I was talking to him, and they, he was saying the hip hop, the brothers got to stick together because. We all we got. It ain't nobody else going to come. It's just we all we got, period. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's basically speaking for everybody. I'm going to say what people want to wanna really, you know, some people want to be politically correct. I'm going to say this shit. Y'all niggas suck. I ain't about to, I don't give a fuck about being on their shows and none of that shit. Fuck them, period. I mean, they want me to say their names. I say their names too, but we gonna keep it clean tonight. <laughs> we gonna yeah, keep it yeah, clean. I, 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 you you want to come back on any time, man? Me and Mac will set up a show. <laughs> and we'll just we'll just talk about these these fuck boys. But uh, yeah, I feel you. I feel you, man. I, I definitely feel you. The cornerstones of right. hip hop is being desecrated. You know what I mean? They're being uh, right. it's being dismantled by these guys that don't even know the history. You know, and, and, exactly. and in a lot of cases, it ain't even their fault because no one teaches them. You know what I'm saying? No one Nobody, tells them exactly. to Google DJ well, quick. Honey, that's Google that's Google what we're talking about. Nobody teaches them. No. And, and, you know, they don't pay homage to the people that pay it away. It's people that went to jail for us to say the English shit. The, the English shit I say is people that went to jail for that. It's people that, you know, like two live crew. They had to fight court cases lost money, all type of things was going on in their lives because of, they was putting out, setting the tone for us to say what we got to say. And then, you know, they passing the baton to us, and then we going to fucking um, destroy it with these garbage-ass music they put out? Nah, nah, that, that, that's, that's the shit they got out, like that new double XL shit, man, I could talk about them motherfuckers all day, but we ain't going to go. We have to do another show on that, you <laughs> Most definitely, most definitely. Here's the track, and we'll go right to it. No, go ahead, my bad. Yeah, I say, and then, you know, the 
a lot of artists is they coming out right now. You know, a lot of artists is being vocal about <laughs> the rappers sucking now. You know what I'm saying? It used to be people trying to be politically correct, and you know they gotta make their money and make their check, but. Rappers, they saying, that, hey, man, y'all got to step y'all game up. Y'all suck, man. For real, y'all making us look bad. <laughs> Running around here. It's no. like, you know. <laughs> That's real shit. Yeah, what it is, bro. That's real shit, man. Most definitely. Most definitely. Well, we A lot of them, before they, they, they even rap, a lot of them, before they even, you know, go into rapping and so forth, should learn. At least take a class on hip hop one oh one, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. So they they yeah. can understand the roots, the culture, everything, you know, from the B boy to the DJ to the rapping, how it came around and so forth, you know? Yeah. Right. Right. So they, they need to learn the culture. The fans. You know, exactly. A lot of these guys they they drop a, a song or whatnot, but they uh, when it's time to perform, they don't even know what they're doing. You could see people just standing <laughs> on stage. They're still as you know they're they're just spitting over their their stuff. But you got to be able to interact with the crowd and, and get the crowd hype and whatnot. You know, and, and well, uh, no more nobody A&R has a better show than the, than you guys. You know what I mean? When you take a a, a, a Chinaman Records, you know, what I'm saying tour or you you book Chinaman Records for a show. What can you expect? And then I'm going to bring on another artist after you answer this question. Well, basically, you know, we, we, we want to give the people their money's worth, you know, well, more than their money's worth. So they'll always remember each artist and so forth and want to bring us back, you know, because the best business is repeat business, you know. So you, you have to entertain and be, become learn to become entertainers. And, and that's my job is to teach these young guys how to last in the industry, you know, 10, 15, 20 years and, and beyond, you know? Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about longevity. You know what I'm saying? You uh, you go back to 84, you know what I'm saying, um, which you probably learned how to rat rhyme long before that even. So, I mean, uh, yeah, it's very important to have that longevity, very important. Yeah, you want to exactly, you want to and, and and you got to you know, know that the, the the fans are the best people, you know, because because of them coming to see you over and over, they take care of you and your family, you know. So, yeah. and you have to appreciate that. Oh yeah, every time you drop, you want to make sure that you have these loyal supporters that are going to support that. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 real talk. Um, let's bring on uh, Boy Dirty. I believe. You there? Yeah, yeah, what's good, man? Boy, hey, how from you doing? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, man, I'm Florida. doing good, man, but God keep blessing us. We out here working, man. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, how did you hook up, you know what I'm saying, with uh, Fresh Kid Ice and Chinaman Records? And it was, it, it's it's God, man, you know what I'm saying? I, this game is all about positioning and putting yourself in the right position and and, and God allowed me an opportunity to meet who I grew up on. You know what I'm saying? That's what raised me in Florida was the two live crew, you know, trick yeah. daddy and all. I mean, I, I just, so that's what I came up on. So, you know, being in the right position at the right time, and, you know, it was just all about God putting me where I needed to be at. And I met him, and, you know, ever since then, it's just been heaven to me. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah, and, and you you growing up listening to the likes of of, of uh, Fresh Kid Eyes, Two Live Crew, Poison Clan, all these different guys. You know what I'm saying? Now you're out there, you're working with them on a regular basis. What have you learned from from uh, Chris? I learned how to be humble, how to stay hungry, and how to stay motivated in this game. You know what I'm saying? Because it teaches me a lot. He taught me how to um, deal with these promoters what to expect from these promoters and, and, you know, just how to be um, hungry and um, and be ready for whatever comes to, towards you. Oh. Yeah, that's real talk, man. That's real talk. And, and that's very important, too. A lot of a lot of rappers, you know, sadly, they're not humble. You know what I'm saying? Right now they're, they're real arrogant, and uh, uh, they, think, they think everybody owes them something before they even put out <laughs> that fucking EP, let alone a, a song. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, for it, it, it's important that you have that humility in you. You know what I'm saying? That you have that humbleness in you. Um, what's it like when you go out and perform in front of a, a, a crowd? Do you get out there and interact with the fans? Oh, I mean, all day. I mean, that's that's my meal ticket, I believe, because I'm a producer and artist first, but my everything is my show. When people see me, they I make sure that I give them everything of me. You know what I'm saying? I just did. Um, I was blessed to go do a show just recently in Kentucky in front of 60,000 people, and I shut it down. You know what I'm saying? And I went out there, and that's just my energy. You know, God, God give me the strength to get up there every night. And I'm gonna do what I have to do. I, I surprise people because if you ain't got a good show, ain't no, you know, I don't care how good your music is. If your show horrible, man, you are gonna lose record sales after they see your show. So it's important that you have a great show. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah, real talk, mm-hmm. real talk, man. Um, you got a track also that you sent me. Um, why don't you tell everybody about this song before uh, before we play it? <laughs> All right. Well, the record. Like I said, I, I was raised, I, I got the whole statement, I am Florida. So I was raised off of Two Live, Cool and Fresh, and um, and Trick Daddy and all them. So basically, I want to get back to the whole party and stages, because I'm tired of going to the clubs and seeing females try to be harder than some of the dudes. So I want to get them back to dancing and have a good time and stuff like that. So, I, you know, I made this record called Bad and She Know It, and, you know, and um, I want to get these DJs and get these clubs back to rocking how it used to be, bring back good music. Same, you there? Hey, yo, what's going on? It's Frank Fiella. What's going on? Frank Fiella. How you doing, man? China Man Records, welcome to the Murder Master Music Show. Uh, how did you hook up with uh, Chris? You know, basically, I met up I met up with Fresh. You know what I mean? I was in the right place at the right time. You know what I mean? I was, I was actually performing at a show, and I was actually opening up for, for Fresh and Two Lives. Uh, a couple years back, and and you know we linked up from there, and it's it's been it's been blessings on blessings ever since. You know what I mean? So you've actually been able to go out on the road and actually do shows and, and different things like that with them, right? Basically going out and you know what I mean, get to see you know how it is to you know perform and get out there and you know basically do my thing. You know what I mean? He's teaching me what I need to know to get out there, and you know what I mean. Everything's all good, yeah. you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about, man. That's and it, it from what from what I know, I mean I I've known Chris for a long time, at least talked to him for a long time. He's instilling a lot of values in you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, uh the homie uh uh boy Dirty was saying he taught you how to be humble. You know what I'm saying? Um you're a little bit younger than than the other guys if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? You're different from the rest of this younger generation. You seem like you got a good head on your shoulders. How important is it for you to stay humble? You know what I mean? I'm a I'm a young artist and, and trying to, you know, come up in the industry. You know, I'm 23 years old. So, you know, basically I've learned to remain humble and, and just stay dedicated at everything that I, I try to do to succeed. And being with the team that I'm on and being mentored by Fresh Kid, you know what I mean? That's that's a that's a big thing in in life that's helping me progress and and reach my goals that I and I'm trying to reach in life. You know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. That's the, and it's a good thing that you got. You know, what I'm saying you got a teacher like that in your corner, someone who's been through different obstacles in the industry and and, and someone who has experience getting gold and platinum plaques and whatnot, doing things like that. What are your uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, where do you want to see yourself in the next five years, Fame? You know what I mean? I basically want to see myself, you know, as far as I can see, you know, trying to be on top and be a, a big part of the industry with the with the team and everybody, you know what I mean? Basically, you know what I mean? Sell records and be out there doing shows and, you know, basically expanding all over the globe. Yeah. So yeah. I... I got, you know, big dreams and big dreams for the team. So, you know what I mean? We're going to put in the work and grind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I mean, that's what it's all about. You got to put in that hard work to get the reward at the end of the day. Nobody got paid sitting on their ass. You guys are definitely proof of that because you guys are out there. You're grinding. You're promoting. You know, I'm going to be real with you. When we have a lot of legends on the show, we have a lot of um, – you know, guys on this show, some of them don't promote it at all, hardly. 
you guys are out there promoting the fuck out of it, and I really appreciate that because that's that's bringing people our way as well. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, thank all of you for sharing the links and getting people up on the show and letting them know that hey, you know what? I'm going to be on this show tonight. It's you guys. It shows two things. It shows number one, like I said, that you guys are humble, but it also shows that you guys take this shit very seriously. You know what I'm saying? I respect that. You know, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, it's it's all love, and we appreciate you, you guys. You know, opening up your arms as well and letting us be a part of the show. So it's all love at the end of the day. So we appreciate you guys as well. That's what I'm talking about, man. Real talk, real talk. Well, you got music too. You brought some music with you. Um, we're gonna play your track here in a minute, and then we're gonna come back on. And we're going to have everybody on. We're going to have a little bit of a round table, you know what I'm saying? Make sure everybody gives out all the social media so cats can follow you guys. And maybe we'll take a couple callers. Say what? Same? Fort Myers, down here in oh, okay. uh, Southwest Florida. Okay. Oh, okay. Florida, too. So, that's, I mean, that's what's up, man. You guys are, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're right, you're right there, you know what I'm saying, in one of the, the meccas of hip-hop. Because, you know what I'm saying, um, Two Life Crew, uh, all the bass, all that, all that stuff transcended and, and really set a tone for the South. At the same time, the Ghetto Boys was doing things in Texas, you know what I'm saying. Um, so really, you have all these different things merged together. You know, what's it like? You know, you, anybody can answer this. What's it like to be able to work with one of the pioneers of the South? Well, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, man, it's a humbling experience to be able to know that hip-hop started for me here in the Two Live Crew, really opened the doors for a lot of us because if it wasn't for the Two Live Crew, it wouldn't be no, you know, boy dirty. It wouldn't be none of us out here, you know, grinding out of Florida because it, it was so hard to come up with music out of this era, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, Two Live opened the door for us. You know, Fresh did, you know, uh, the, what nobody else could do. And, and that's put the state on the map. So, you know, all I feel is it's just it's our right that we keep it there. You know, he put it there, we try to keep it there. Right. And and with y'all and with y'all being in the in the hip hop game, what what would y'all say to people that consider because me myself, I consider hip hop to be a, a a culture, you know what I'm saying? But you got a lot of people out here that say hip hop not a culture, it's just a genre of music or it's a culture because of the lifestyle and everything that it embodies. Because I'm, you know, I'm I'm a little older than some of these young guys. But what, what do you guys say for the people that try to say that hip hop really not a culture and it's just a genre? That's, that's people that uh, that's people that don't know hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of people don't know that hip hop is a culture because it's uh a style of dance, a style of clothing, and later on it became a style of music. You understand? So, and it it it, it can take anything and create it on its own. You know what I'm saying? From rock and roll mm-hmm. to country music and so forth. This is something I was saying back in the 80s. You know what I'm saying? So when they said hip hop wasn't real music I, I, and they didn't give us room on on the charts all they had was the R&B chart I said give it a couple of years and you'll see the difference and and who will rule the charts in 10 20 years and now it's hip hop they still ain't lying cuz I, I always felt it was the culture because of like you said this it goes from the graffiti to the dance and to the way we talk to the things that we even interested in. You know what I'm saying? Like now hip hop taking a different turn, you know what I'm saying, so to speak. But that that that's why it's so important for guys like yourself to be able to do what you're doing because you don't have to just follow. Like me and prayers like to call them the TCs, the trend chasers. They just hopping from trend to trend. I'm a, I always respect the guys that stick to the script one way or – Recreate it. If they got to do something new, they recreate themselves, and they're not trying to sound like the next one. It's like being unique. What happened to the days of being unique, being some dope shit instead of everybody just Real come? Like talk. nowadays, you don't even know where these cats from. A lot of times, just by listening. Real to them. Exactly, because they're all like they're in the same lane. 
<laughs> like you got Doug guys from New York sounding Doug. like Atlanta guys. You got Atlanta guys sounding like Florida guys, or you got Florida guys want to sound like the Carolina guys. It's like everybody trying to sound like everybody else. But back in the day, I thought it was dope to have. It was like when we came up, we had categories of music. It was like going to the mall. Like if you want to hear gangster shit, you can go get NWA or Spice One. If you want to hear some pimp shit, you can get up with Eight Ball and MJG, or you can get some Too Short or something. If you want to hear some dance music, you you had certain. It was like you had different groups, so you wasn't just stuck in one box. Uh, hip hop. Exactly. Like, Sharkin has that all time high, y'all. Sharkin, when the culture bugs came in, it became based on the dollar. You know what I'm saying? And when these record labels start merging into buying out each other, and, and they became like what the big four or big three record labels, you know, because everybody is just an imprint now, and they're owned by, what, Atlantic, the WIA Corporation, Warner, Electra, Atlantic, um, and a few other labels and so forth. It became a money thing, you know, so that's why it's it's all about, you know, them buying it up, culture vultures. You got, you, you know, got and, people and they did the lawyers. same thing with radio. There's no independent radio stations out there. Everything is Claire Channel, Cox Media, or whatever. And one program, a program, 60 stations, and this and that. So everything sounds alike. And what works yeah. in one area, they try to play it in every area. So the top 11 records are the only records going to get played. Right. You, you got the, you got you got the you got guys that you know like you said culture vultures right you got guys that's that's lawyers running record labels they don't give a fuck about no uh, our culture you know they 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 come in here trying to get a dollar so they running record labels and fucking up the culture then you got you know the materialism you know we in the the the, the year of materialism you know what I'm saying so. You got a lot of these sissies. They they selling clothes and shit like that, and they they about clothing and you know what I'm saying, fag shit and swag. you know, fag. I mean, yeah, swag, fag, whatever. You know, see, back, <laughs> back, back, we call them swaggers, man. They straight yeah, swaggers, yeah. most of them. <laughs> you know, back back when when you know coming up, man. You know, I'm I'm. Listening to live crew, I'm listening to NWA. I'm I'm coming up on that. That's my era, you know. I'm coming up on that, and man, everybody everybody had their own style, man. They they didn't they wasn't man. You know, a motherfucker real and then wear a pair of dickies and ride a six four. Niggas was to talk, talk about this all this Bentleys and jumping out of testosterone and all this other fucking bullshit, you know. But right. you know, this is. This is the era now that everybody they got a pump fake. They uh, my house got a Bentley in Atlanta. I got a this in Atlanta. Yeah. Man, nobody, man, nobody want to hear that gay ass shit, man. So let's talk about you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> talk about you. Talk about the exactly. streets. Right. Talk, talk about, about what's, what's really going on. going on out here. Like lead yeah, the kids because really? cause half of these kids, you know, they, we all influenced. Like like we was we 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 listen to two live and we listen to everybody and that you know that's what we come up off of. So these kids coming off uh, off a of different. <clears throat> a different uh, mind frame of music, but but but, but the artists leading them to dumb shit because yeah. half of these kids but ain't gonna see, never get to where they think they are to set. As far you as know, the material, the thing is, most of these we kids from, they I have got one five on it. We went from I got five on it to I got a million on on it. I'm, you know, I mean, come on, man. You know, this shit just got out of hand. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got shit on it in reality. <laughs> you know, right. <laughs> That, that you know, what percentage of these artists, about. you know, what percentage yeah. of these artists that, that's coming out nowadays have more than one hit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some might have two or three, you know, and, and that's it. Their career is over. Yeah. You know, so yeah, that's true. the thing is, they're not building careers. They're just building radio records. Right. They just, you know, whatever they ride the wave, 
and they sheep. There's a lot of sheep going on. It's a lot of sheep shit. You know, they riding whatever they see. You got about 10 futures out there right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's about 10 futures. You know what I'm saying? So they just riding whatever or what he hide. I'm going I'm to try to sound like him. And I'll be seeing producers be like, man, I got a, um, a future like beat, a Jeezy like beat, a beat like. Right. And I'll be like, man, what the fuck is that? What's a Jeezy beat? You know what I'm saying? Right. That, <laughs> that's what I said. I said, shit, uh, even T Pain, he came out and reworked the uh, auto tones. He can't even use that shit no more because everybody <laughs> took the shit that he was using and just ran with it. So he like, I can't even do this shit no more. They <laughs> fucked it up for me. So. You can't do it. it, it, it T-Pain changed T-Pain the game. T-Pain was in that. Miami this, last weekend DJing parties. So, you know. Right. Uh, you know, he, he's also like a celebrity that, DJ, so he's getting money all kind of ways. So. Right. But, you know, they, they, it's, it's a lot of culture voices out here. And then the hip-hop artists, you know, the culture voices get with these young homie guys. They ain't got no money. They give them a couple bucks, and they... You know they oh they gonna do anything you know what I'm saying so that's that's how the game going and it's fucked up but it's good that artists and I'm man and you know I appreciate y'all show man y'all show always been 100 back when you know the murder dog murder dog mag when I was in the joint they banned y'all magazine from the joint from Michigan Department of Corrections <laughs> 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 you know hey, yeah, uh, you know, they were sending yeah, them out for free. Yeah, they banned they banned that magazine, man. I think they banned it like I think it was like ninety seven they banned it. You know, but that that was a real hip hop magazine, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gave it to a gave it to a raw. You know, but um that's yeah, what we need. We need, you know, yeah, we need just, we need just where the that real shit. I appreciate that, yeah. man. I appreciate hey, we got actually got another China man uh records artist. Right now, it's on the line. Let, let me bring him on. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself, homie? Bro. You there? Bro. Drill him out. Yeah, it's Brooke. Drill him out. Alabama in the house. Drill him out. Drill him out. Now, wh- where are you from? Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama. How did you hook up with yeah. the uh, Fresh Kid Ice? Uh, grinding, man. Just just grinding hard. Um, back in the day, just doing shows around town. Got a hot single. Uh, doing shows. Got recognized by Fresh Kid Ice, and uh, opened up for her one night, and it's been on ever since. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? It, it seems like everybody, you know what I'm saying, that hooks up with Chinaman Records. You guys all got this this positive attitude. You know what to do. You you, you know what I'm saying. You you know what your goals are. You know um, what have you learned from Chris you know, since you've known him? Uh, his work ethic is impeccable, man. Um, I learned that. Uh, you know, just grinding. Uh, you know, the marketing. Just a lot of behind the scenes things that uh, you really wouldn't get to see from somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. That's real talk, man. It's good to have somebody in your corner, you know, helping you do do things, you know. Oh yeah. Versus not knowing, you know, saying what you know what this situation could bring or that situation. What do you think about the uh, the rap game now, though? You know, what I'm saying the mainstream music. What are your thoughts on it? My thoughts on the mainstream. Um, I mean, everybody doing their own thing, you know. I I can't knock them for that, you know. I mean, I just stay in my lane, drill them out, stay in their lane. You know, we just make feel-good music and, you know, just staying positive, man. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm talking about. Um, Where are you guys going uh, as far as uh, touring, Chris? You guys hitting the road soon? Yeah, we're putting it together the tour right now and trying to link up a ton of dates and so forth, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing right now. I'm trying to make sure everybody's music is right and everything so we when we present it 
everybody has something to say while they're out there. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. What, what are some of the spots you guys want to hit? You going to come to the Midwest at all? Yeah, we want to come everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So we just did Detroit. They just did. We just did Detroit. <laughs> Flip. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to you know, but, shout out to the Dave family. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, it, you know, I gotta come to St. Louis and all that stuff, you know, because I got roots there. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, all yeah. good. <laughs> but you That's know, we want to hit all the major cities and and hit them the milk and crannies, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to do it. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll be I'm here in St. In Louis when you working y'all get on here. Music, so <laughs> I'll be right here in the, in the loo when y'all skip on through. So, can't <laughs> <laughs> wait till y'all get on up here. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they even got me in the studio trying to work on some new material as well. Oh, hell yeah. Got to be done hopefully soon, so. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So is it going to be a solo uh, uh, Fresh Good Ice record? Or? Yeah. I that's haven't done up. one in a while. Well, oh, oh, hell yeah. And it's coming up on uh, 25 years since the first solo album you did. Um, wow. China Man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's a uh, that's a huge that's a huge uh, accomplishment right there too. I remember uh, I remember Dick 'em Down. I mean, they, they had that video on the box, and you know what I'm saying? That, that was a classic. You know what I'm saying? But now wow. here you are, 2016, almost 2017. You're still doing it, and you got a whole group of guys with you. You know what I'm saying? Are, are, are you looking for any more artists? Or are you are you pretty well set? You know what I'm saying with this. Uh, well, right now, this is the first wave. You know, we're set. I need to break at least all these guys real quick, <laughs> so I can move on to the next set. So while these guys got their own lane that they're running, then, then I'm gonna set them loose on the country by themselves. Yeah. Then I can start break breaking more artists. But you know, you, you gotta stay small. And focus, otherwise you, you'll be overstepping your boundaries. Yeah, yeah, real talk. You know what I'm saying? You definitely uh, you can't do everything at once, right? Exactly. That's why yeah, you know so. we try to concentrate, we try to work hard, and we try to build. You know, as we say, we always working and we always networking. So. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. That's our model. And uh, what about like uh, uh, you know, if cats want to get at you guys, you know, for merch and things of that nature, you guys got a website popping off or uh, anything like that going on? Yeah, we got one. Um, RealFreshKidEyes dot com. You know, everything's on there. Each group, everything is on there. All the artists, everything. So, you know, we're under one umbrella right now. So if they need anything and so forth, and I'm working on developing the merch for the group, for, for the artists and everything right now also. So. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, I look forward to see, you know what I'm saying, what you guys do uh, here in the next few months. It sounds like you guys got a lot of big things planned um, so we definitely, uh, we definitely looking forward to that. Um, but, uh, before we get out of here, I want everybody to give all their social media, uh, make sure everybody has everything. Uh, we can start off with you, Fame. You know, give everybody, uh, you know, your links and whatnot. And we'll just go down you know, the list. I, for sure, you know what I mean? It, it's all up and I appreciate you guys having us again. And, you know, you guys, you guys can catch me on, uh, Facebook, Instagram under uh, Fame Fayella, F A M E F A I E L L A. But you can uh, grab the the new single that you heard tonight on the station on iTunes and all the digital outlets. It's called Long Time Coming, featuring Manny P. But you know what I mean. You can basically Google Fame Fayella and you can catch my music and catch me on Fresh's uh, website at www.realfreshkidice.com. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. 
you know, saying let's go down the list. Let's, uh, Chris, give, give everybody all your stuff. You, I'm sure you got a lot of links. Nah, it's all know. about my artist tonight. All right, let's let, let's uh, let's go down to uh, Monte Crisco. You there, brother? Yes, sir. Monte Crisco, you can um, you can check me out. You could just in the search Monte Crisco, M O N T E C R I S T O E. You can run down everything, all the the pages will be on there. But the um, Facebook page, I, you know. You know I'm real hard on going off on rappers, so you know they reported my page. So I got a new page. Uh-huh. It's called Crystal <laughs> Crystal Money. <laughs> it's called Crystal Money backwards. You know what I'm saying? So you can check me out. Hit me on Twitter, Instagram. Follow me on IG, Money Crystal, the Horse Trainer, China Man Record. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. They got your page though, huh? Fuck that shit. Oh, um, I mean, they, they, you know, I, I, I got a lot of um, big booty girls on my page. They, they hit all of them. <laughs> oh. yeah, they, they reported, they reported all of them. <laughs> That's not good at all. That's not good at all. Uh, boy, dirty, you there? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can hit me up, man. Real talk. RealFreshKidice dot com, BlockRunnersEntertainment dot com. You can hit me on any of my Twitters. My Twitter and my Instagram is the same. I am B Dirty. It's I am B D U R T Y. And you can find me on all the social media sites. And we, like I said, we out here grinding. We working. One family, one motivation to be in the streets. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Roll Ro- Ro called you there. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. 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 You got uh, okay. social media contacts? Yeah, first of all, uh, realfreshkidice.com. And you can hit us up on the Instagram and Twitter. Drill them out. That's uh, D R I L L E M O U T. And uh, everybody, everybody's ready to go on tour. Everybody's ready to hit the road. I want to thank you guys for coming on the show. Um, real talk, you guys are welcome back on, you know, saying whatever. So, uh, thank you again. I really appreciate it. You know, saying much Thank you, uh, Scott, man. Thank you, you know. Um, appreciate being on this show. For sure. The Murder Mass yeah, the music show been good to us, you know what I'm saying? So, we appreciate the love, man. And as we, you know, advance in this game, We'll come back on and do some more things and let you know what's going on as we progress. Right on. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you guys, you guys take care of yourselves. Most All definitely. Right. Bless.